Hey guys, I'm over at Tim Dixon's Gas Axe Chop Shop, Ten Mile, Tennessee. You can find Tim on Facebook. Just type in Gas Axe Chop Shop. I'm looking at this 1954 Chevy truck. It's my first time to see it. The truck is from Knoxville, Tennessee, and it belongs to a prominent family in Knoxville. The, the I hope I'm saying this right, the bowling family, like they have Thompson, bowling arena they they have a it's a very well-to-do family they own this truck and they have contacted tim to get this truck up and running again it's been sitting for a while and best i can remember tim telling me that he had a heck of a time getting the truck loaded up on the trailer because it's is in a bad spot but this is my first time to see it myself but Anyway, I don't know what the plans are for it, but as for now, the plan is to get the truck up and running. Family members agreed that they wanted to get it up and running. You know, running, brakes, everything that goes along with it. As you can tell by the windows, it has been sitting a long time. Um, looking around as we're talking, make sure there's no waspers, a lot of spider webs, as you can see. There's the hubcaps, all four. Not sure what all. As I said, this truck is from Knoxville and I thought it's a pretty interesting story I, when Tim was telling me the story. Looks like it originally used to be green. I know I've said this in videos before, but have you ever noticed that when you have a green, vehicle truck or car and you find one most of the time the green vehicles are the ones that happen to survive you buy one that's black or red or any other color it seems like the something happens to them but a green truck for i don't know what it is about the color green i've had a bunch of green trucks and this seems like that they they'll survive just like this one has. Here it is. I, I'm going to take a chance and open this door. I don't really know what's in here, but we'll look at it together. Pretty nice old truck. I'd love to have this. I'm sure to these people, money is no object. Well, I'm I'm real sure money is no object. I don't know to what extent they're going to do on this truck as far as restoring it and everything, but it, this truck is definitely worth fixing. Three-speed on the column. I'm assuming it's still got the six-cylinder in it. Look how good that door shuts. Anyway, I mean, it's got some dents in it here and there you know a little bit of work of course as as i just pointed out it, i believe it used to be originally green there's no telling how many times this truck has been painted um, let's count one two three i don't know about this that looks orange i'm gonna say it's been painted at least three times and that's probably what has preserved it I can see green under this red. But it's a pretty neat old truck. I'd love to have it. I don't know that I'd... Well, if it was mine, of course it's not. Hey, it's still six lug. It, anyway, if it was mine, I don't know that I would do too much to it other than just get it up and running. Kind of interesting how it's got that big old dent there. Well, it's got a story to tell, doesn't it? Got a story to tell. Of course, as you know, all this stuff's not factory. Somebody's added this on, but uh, somebody wanted reverse lights. So anyway, it's always been in East Tennessee. This is from Knoxville. As I said, to be a 54, it's in pretty good shape. I've drove a whole, whole lot worse than this. <laughs> Just trying to show you around the truck. I hope you enjoyed the video. 
I thought it was a pretty interesting story. I think this, I wonder if fish used to, I'm trying to see. I wonder if fish used to be where the antenna was. I'm not for sure. There's another hole, that might have been the antenna. Wiper arms are still on it, but no wiper blades. I like it cause it's got the chrome grill. Isn't that nice? Chrome bumper. I think it's pretty nice. I want to see if it's... Nope, radio delete. Still got the delete plate under the cup holder there. I hope you can see it, the red one. It's got the bow tie. Did you know those sun visors, uh, the one for the passenger side would have been an option back in the day. It still has original steering wheel. I should have, I'll show you. Original steering wheel. This truck's in really good shape. Anyway, I'll hush. I, I, I can go on and on about how I'd like to have it and all, but I'm not going to be able to get nothing like this. This belongs to a prominent family that's going to thankfully raise it back up, I hope. So, anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please give me a big old thumbs up. Let me know you liked it. Leave a comment. I just think it's really, really a neat looking truck. I appreciate you watching. Don't forget, I got two YouTube channels, Primer is Best and Chevy Trucks. Chevy Trucks is two words. I'll try to remember to leave a link in the description of the video so you can find find the uh, channel, the Chevy Trucks. I have a lot of people say they have a hard time finding Chevy Trucks. So, uh, uh, the channel, yeah. Chevy Trucks, the channel, yes. So I appreciate it. Please like and subscribe. <laughs> Thank you. That's Mrs. P.I.B. Ain't she the best? Y'all have a good day. Appreciate it. Thanks for watching. God bless each and every one of you. I appreciate it. See y'all later.